reading the book of Daniel right now and love the example of excellence we see amongst this man and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They'd just been captured by King Nebuchadnezzar and were brought in to become Babylonians and serve the new kingdom. Daniel and his friends went along with a bunch of changes, including their names from God-honoring names to names that honored the Babylonians' false gods. But there's one thing Daniel would not go along with. He wouldn't stray from a diet that God had given to his people. Because of Daniel's allegiance first to God and then to the folks above him, his superiors, God was glorified and Daniel was placed in a position of influence. Take a look. When the training period ordered by the king was completed, the chief of staff brought all the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them, and no one impressed him as much as Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were their new names. So they entered the royal service. Whenever the king consulted these four guys in any matter, requiring wisdom and balanced judgment, he found them ten times more capable than any of the magicians, enchanters, in his entire kingdom. We see the same in the story of Joseph, as well as instructions to married wives in the New Testament whose husbands aren't following Jesus like their wives. In this constantly changing political and social climate, it gives me great hope to know that God has worked through ungodly kingdoms before and will guide and protect his children even in the midst of corruption. So no matter what scenario we find ourselves in today or in the future, Let's honor God first and have excellence in our work, no matter who's ruling over us. That just may be a key change to the path of a heart or nation that may be walking away from God. Just ask Daniel or Joseph. For always, you can check out Points of Life on WTLW.com or have it emailed to you. Just send me a note and I'll get you on that list.